All right, joining us in studio right now, we have Ben of Developing Lafayette. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it's good to be back. All right, so we have a few things to touch on. Let's start with what's happening with that old Capital One Bank building. Yeah, so I've gotten a lot of people ask me about it for the past few weeks and finally did some research and got connected with someone who did the landscaping for it. Okay. And he gave me a uh, some plans and it had Starbucks on oh. it. Oh. Which is interesting because there's a Starbucks inside of Target yeah. in the same area. And so I think that Starbucks inside of Target will stay open, but this new Starbucks will offer the drive through and okay. you know a patio and an expanded menu. So while people find it confusing that there's going to be two Starbucks, yeah. it's already a thing. So like it is South already Side, a thing. We have that. Yeah. Has it. There's one inside of Target on the And then the south across side the street, right there's a the Starbucks. Street. And yeah. then down the road, we've got other coffee shops yeah. too. And then this uh, Capital One building is located right off of Louisiana Avenue at I-10. So it's kind of in that, like I said, Target Academy uh, shopping center right across from Aldi and Racetrack. Nice. Yeah. And when is it set to open? So there's no set date yet because they're still uh, gutting out the building as you can okay. see there. That's the pretty recent. And so they're going to start to build out pretty soon. and. Um, we should see that probably in the next six to eight months, I would say, before Exciting. it opens. Exciting. Yep. And so we have Starbucks, and we also have some new housing opportunities yep. for Acadiana. Tell us about this new apartment complex. Yeah, so not far away from this new Starbucks on Moss Street is going to be uh, an 84-unit apartment complex nice. called Arbors at Acadiana, or Arbors of Acadiana. It's one of those. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a communities company that you know, produces these apartment complexes. There's already one Arbors at Lafayette behind Cracker Barrel okay. uh, off of yeah. North University. And so it's going to be, like I said, 84 units. It's going to be four buildings total. It's going to have a clubhouse. It's going to mm -hmm. have a pool, resort style pool. So All those amenities. For that area, it's going to be a really nice apartment complex. Yeah. While it's also inconvenient right now that all the dirt work is happening and it's kind of a a big construction site off mm -hmm. of Moss Street. I think for that area, it's going to be a good thing. And That's it's not nice. low-income housing. It's affordable apartments. So they're built with discounts from the state. So that'll help uh, lower the cost on rent. That's great for that area. And yep. we are almost out of time. But we have to talk about this one. Let's talk yes. about Gingerbread Twins. Okay, so Gingerbread Twins <laughs> is spawned from Twins Burgers and Sweets. Okay. So they're famous for their gingerbread already that was seasonal. And so they decided to go big with it and create a gingerbread factory, That's not exciting. open to the public, but you can order online or you can get their gingerbread cookies at their store twins. Okay. Uh, but basically this is a way to meet increased demand and to supply gingerbread cookies year round. That's incredible really that cool stuff. they're able to do that yeah. and now do it year round. The facil facility looks great. This cookies look yep. amazing. Yeah. And uh, they have machines that kind of do auto decorating. So they have hand decorating that goes along with it. Uh, but they can do different styles. They can do different designs on nice. their gingerbread. And I think their website is gingerbreadtwins.com. So if you're interested in checking it out, you can go there and order them. Easy peasy. And yep. how can our friends at home stay up to date with everything that's going on in yep. Lafayette? So you can go to my Facebook page, Developing Lafayette, or my website, developinglafayette.com, Instagram, TikTok, all those places. All right, Ben, as always, thank you so yep. much for hanging out with thank us. Thank you for having me. If you want to see some direct links to all of these things we just talked about, go to kadn.com. I'll be right back after this.